Hi, I'm Zach Walker, one of the pastors at Village Presbyterian Church, and this is Speaking of God. One of my favorite stories from the Old Testament comes from 1 Samuel in chapter 24. It's, it's this moment where King Saul begins to see David as a threat to his kingship. And so Saul decides to use all his resources and his army to go after David to kill him. So he's out there with all these soldiers. He's marching, trying to find David, and he needs a moment to, um, well, I should probably just quote scripture here. So this is uh, 1 Samuel 24, 3. He went there into a cave, and Saul went in to relieve himself. And that means exactly what you think it does. What Saul doesn't realize is that in the back of that cave, David's in there. And so while Saul is doing his business, David sneaks up behind him. He pulls out a knife and he cuts off Saul's, his, well, a corner of his cloak, actually. Uh, and so Saul leaves the cave. David comes out after him, shouts to him, and with the proof in his hand, tells Saul, I'm not after you. I mean you no harm. I don't know what your advisors are telling you. And what we see in this time, in this moment, is that when David had the upper hand, he had the upper hand on the guy that was trying to kill him, and he chose mercy and grace. And I can't tell you how many times in my life that I have had that opportunity or that choice, and I have failed. That I've had the opportunity to give grace when I've had the upper hand, and I haven't. I've had the opportunity to be the bigger person, and I've chosen to be petty. But in this time, in this story, it reminds me that so much of leadership is love. So much of leadership is mercy. So much of leadership is grace. It's choosing, choosing those things that makes us great because that is what makes Jesus great. It's what makes God great. And when we follow that example, we follow in Jesus' footsteps. When we follow in that example, we know what it is to be with God and for God and to have God with us. And so I hope that you will have the opportunity soon to decide, to decide what you will do and in doing so you will choose love, you will choose mercy, and you will choose grace. Amen.